Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate net carbohydrates and what are net carbs. Um, so starting with what are net carbs? Um, that's the number of carbs in a food that the body can actually break down to absorb, use for calories, and that will affect your blood sugar level. Um, so people who care about counting net carbs would be someone with diabetes mellitus, uh, someone following a ketogenic diet, um, any style of eating or medical necessity where you care about um, how many carbohydrates you are taking in and how those carbohydrates will affect your blood sugar level. Um, anyone in that category should care about your net carbs. Um, so dietary fiber, although it is a carbohydrate and it's listed under carbohydrates on food labels, um, we don't break down dietary fiber, so we don't absorb it. We don't um, get calories from dietary fiber. Um, so when we calculate net carbs, we are subtracting the dietary fiber from the net from the total carbohydrates to get the net carbs. Net carbs meaning how many carbs are in this food that we're actually going to absorb and use for energy and what will affect our blood sugar. Um, similarly, sugar alcohol, um, it is absorbed, but it has little to no effect on blood sugar. So sugar alcohols include lots of different things like xylitol, erythritol, sorbitol, just as a few examples. Um, generally, anything ending in etol is a sugar alcohol. Uh, sugar alcohols are sweeteners that are neither sugar nor alcohol, but uh, chemically speaking, they're sort of a compound kind of in between. Um, but different ones have a different effect on blood sugar. So some have a slight effect on blood sugar and some don't really affect it at all. Um, you want to use sugar alcohols in moderation because if you consume too much sugar alcohol and you're not accustomed to it, it can cause digestive discomfort, you know, stomach aches, diarrhea, that sort of thing. Um, but in small amounts and used in moderation, um, they're, they're pretty great way to sweeten your food and not have an effect on blood sugar. Um, so when you're calculating net carbs, you will also subtract any sugar alcohols that are listed on that label. Uh, finally, allulose is a monosaccharide, so it's another carbohydrate, um, but we excrete it, um, we do absorb it, but then we process it out and excrete it, and it has very little to no effect on blood sugar, just like sugar alcohol. Um, so allulose is not typically listed on a food label. A manufacturer can choose to include it on the food label if they want to, but they do not have to. It doesn't have to be separately itemized. Um, and so you only will know if there's allulose in a food if that manufacturer chooses to list it on the label or list it in the ingredients or sometimes include a separate note about there being allulose in the food um, to help you in your calculation of your net carbohydrates. Um, I do want to point out that the term net carbs is not regulated by the FDA. Um, lots of claims that are made on food labels are regulated by the FDA. So it has to meet certain standards for that food to be able to put a certain claim on the label. Uh, net carbs is not one of them. So a manufacturer can calculate their net carbs however they choose and, and print whatever number they want, and that is not regulated. Um, so I recommend always reading the label and determining the net carbohydrates for yourself um, so that you can be sure you agree with how the calculation was performed because, you know, I have on occasion read food labels and, and questioned how they came to the number that they're advertising on the front. Um, now, in this picture, it says six grams net carbs. This is actually accurate. And I love this brand of ice cream personally. <laughs> I, I eat a ketogenic diet and I, I personally really like this brand of ice cream. Okay, so when we're calculating our net carbohydrates, uh, you take the total number of grams of carbohydrates. So you see on the food label, it says total carbohydrates. So that's what you're starting with. And then you subtract um, the dietary fiber, sugar, alcohol, and allulose. Okay, so on a normal food label, there will be total carbohydrate. Under that, you will see dietary fiber. And if there are sugar alcohols included, that will be listed under total sugar below. So as we see in this first example, we would start with 18 total minus one 
minus 15. And so the result would be two grams of net carbs per serving of that food. Um, now I showed um, this other label here, I circled for you um, where we did the math because allulose was not included on the nutrition facts panel. Um, and so they here are explaining how they came to six grams of net carbs per pint is that there are 50 grams of carbohydrates total in the whole pint of ice cream, and then minus 16 grams of fiber, minus 17 grams of sugar alcohol, and minus 11 grams of allulose for a total of six grams of net carbs in the entire pint of ice cream. Okay, so hopefully that helps you figure out how to calculate your net carbs. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.